There's nothing like a creamy, warm rice pudding to bring back childhood memories. And it is so easy and so economical to make with just a few simple ingredients. I'm gonna start with one cup of extra long grain Riceland rice. I'm gonna pour it into a heavy bottom saucepan. I'm gonna cover that with some milk and some heavy cream and a little bit of salt. And that's gonna bring out some nice flavor. Now I'm gonna let that slowly simmer for 20 minutes until the rice is nice and tender. I'm gonna stir it often to make sure it doesn't stick. Then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So our rice is nice and tender now. Now I'm gonna show you how to temper our yolks. You take four egg yolks, drop them in a large heavy bowl. We're gonna add our brown sugar. That's gonna add a wonderful, rich sweetness. We're gonna whisk that all together nicely. It's gonna get a light brown color and creamy and uniform in texture. Then we're gonna temper the yolks. Now the way you do that is you slowly ladle in the hot liquid from your rice just a little bit at a time to get those yolks used to the temperature. Otherwise, if you do it too quickly, you'll actually scramble your eggs. So just a little bit at a time, about half a ladle full there. All right, mix that in slowly, just to get those eggs used to your, your heat. We're gonna add it right back into that rice pudding mixture. And we're gonna, again, slowly stir it, and it's gonna become nice and custardy. It's gonna be about five minutes, 10 minutes, it'll slowly thicken. All right. My rice pudding is thick and creamy and it's ready for the seasonings. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. Mm. And then my favorite spice of all is cardamom. It has a wonderful earthy spiciness to it. Then some cinnamon. And a little bit of black pepper for some kick. Sort of my secret ingredient. Then we're gonna do the zest of one orange and the zest of one lemon. That's gonna add some really wonderful floral flavors to it. All right, we're gonna give that a nice mix. Fold that in. We're gonna let it cool slightly. And I love to give it a try when it's still warm, but you can also eat it cool the next day. It's wonderful, cold or warm, but it's got a great custardy warm texture to it. So we're gonna give it a try together. Mm, it's still warm and it's custardy and it has that wonderful flavor from the citrus and the spice. Then you can add a few little embellishments. Some fruit, a little something something, because you deserve it. Give this a try at home. It's so easy to make, economical, and very comforting. Mm -hmm.